Hi everyone, my name is Erin Lomax and I'm an educator at the Smithsonian Marine Ecosystems Exhibit at the St. Lucie County Aquarium. Today's bio bit is about one of the most important building blocks of Earth's structures and it's hugely important for ocean life and coral reefs in particular. I'm talking about calcium carbonate. So let's explore what that is and why it's so important. Calcium carbonate is a compound or a combination of different elements. It's composed of three major components, carbon, oxygen, and calcium. When calcium ions interact with carbonate ions, calcium carbonate is formed in a solid state. Though it only constitutes 4% of the Earth's surface, this solid compound can be found in common materials like chalk, limestone, and marble. Most of this compound is biologically formed, meaning it's made by living things. So why is this important in our oceans? Well, let's take limestone as an example. During harsh rains on land, small amounts of limestone will erode and eventually get washed into the ocean as minerals. Calcium carbonate minerals are dissolved in the water or in the food of calcifying organisms like mollusks or crustaceans. These organisms use it to build their shells and their exoskeletons. Corals create calcium carbonate to build their base skeletons, which is how large coral reefs are formed over time. Animals like sea stars and sea urchins produce calcium carbonate to create their spines and the urchin's test, which is its exoskeleton. Even very small calcifying organisms like zooplankton produce calcium carbonate to build their shells and their exoskeletons. However, humans have impacted the amount of this material available in the ocean for calcifying organisms. By burning fossil fuels and destroying natural carbon sinks like mangrove forests, humans have added astronomical amounts of carbon dioxide or CO2 into the atmosphere. This CO2 is absorbed by the ocean and in high amounts, it lowers the pH of the water, making it more acidic. This is where the term ocean acidification comes from. When the water is too acidic, it prevents calcium carbonate compounds from developing making it harder for calcifying organisms to create strong shells to protect themselves. This can lead to mortality for a lot of those calcifying organisms who are an integral part of the ocean food web. So it doesn't just affect the calcifying organisms. It affects everything in the ocean through the food webs. So how can you help? Well, it's important to create a smaller carbon footprint for yourself. This might mean biking to work instead of driving a car, or it might mean buying more locally grown or locally reared food rather than food that has been transported a long distance, burning fossil fuels along the way. By being conscious of these issues, you can help to mitigate the problem and ultimately become a better environmental steward. Thanks for joining us for this bio bit, and we'll see you next time.